So why do I make my domain name videos? A right. couple of reasons actually, two or three reasons. One, because I need to refinance myself and if I'm sitting on, just like an artist, if an artist had a lot of paintings and then they'd have to refinance themselves, they'd sell one or two, wouldn't they? That's my aim, to sell one or two of my domain names to refinance myself. Um, if domain name marketing, domain name marketplaces want ten percent, twenty percent. A broker will want ten or twenty percent commission, and some marketplaces want thirty percent commission of your asset. It's just like selling your house. If you sold your house, you wouldn't give thirty percent away to the person that sold it, would you? Why should I? YouTube's got a bigger audience than um, domain name marketplaces. If you use the keywords right, organic SEO and all that. Um, they should get views, um, which is no different to like eBay reselling. All they do is put an item on what they've bought from a car boot or charity shop in itself. And then you've got, um, <laughs> you can watch online car auctions and they sell. Yeah. So if I put domain names on, on YouTube, hopefully one or two might sell. Plus the fact, because it's new GTLDs, and I understand new, GTL, new GTLDs because I've been buying new GTLDs for a few years now. Only for reg fee, five pounds. The old five pound here and there. Um to try and refinance myself. <laughs> but new GTLDs have only been about since twenty thirteen. So not many people know about them. But now but by me putting my GTLDs on YouTube, other people can get to know the extensions of the new GTLDs and they might be able to buy a website address that's more suited to them from a domain name registrar, but know that there's a that's certain my next my next um GTLD domain name video is gonna be um a dot golf GTLD. Because I own well I own the next two videos will be room dot golf which I've got a concept for and room dot loans because basically your know, rooms are gonna get too expensive. And you'll need a loan to be able to get a deposit and um, month up front to actually rent a room. So, um, but I've, I've got a few dot loans, GTLDs in this in these videos. But um, dot golf, not many people know that you got. Um, so you could even have, and it's it's about. I'm, I'm assuming that, that VW do own it. You could have VW dot golf. That's the complete website address, <laughs> global. And you can have a. Um, so I'm hoping that we don't VW really own it, but it's, it's available, or <laughs> well, it has been issued. Um, that's what you can do with GTLDs. No dot com, no dot com required. So all this like you need a dot com, you don't. But by me having bought GTLDs and being able to put, show people, this is what a GTLD looks like, and you'll be able to see. Right? So when you see them on down the I street or something, or on the back of a van or something, like that, or the back of a truck down a motorway, you'll think, oh, that's a GTLD. You see. That Muppet Online keeps putting GTLDs, that's what they look like. <laughs> but if if me knowing a bit about GTLDs helps you understand GTLDs, all good. Plus the fact now, in like Name Bio, which is that if you look at namebio.com every day, you'll see, like yesterday there was 100 sales from the day before, and today there'll be another 100 sales from yesterday, and tomorrow there'll be 100 sales because there's people buying GTLDs today as we speak, um, you get to see that the dot com investors will say dot com is everything and in certain time, certain website addresses it is, but not all website addresses and more businesses are buying, or well, they have to, to defend their brand, they've got to buy the GTLD, they have to win their brand and more tech startups are using GTLDs and not dot coms. But the problem is, is that now people are getting aware of GTLDs and the prices are going up. So you, you're you seeing, with 100 website address sales from yesterday, say for example, the lo the bottom the, the lowest price of the hundreds, of the, of the 10 pages, so the, the bottom of the 10th page, the hundredth website address sale from yesterday, is usually about three hundred and fifty dollars 
it can go to about four hundred dollars, three hundred and fifty, four hundred dollars. But now, if you look at the that name bio and click on the extension, scroll down to all new GTLDs, and then press search, you'll see that the GTLDs are sitting for two fifty, three hundred, three fifty. So at some point, name bio, the bottom part of that like page ten of name bio every day, will start to fill up with new GTLDs as more people buy them and the prices that they sell for increase. So you'll be paying three or four hundred pounds for a GTLD. Uh, three or four hundred dollars for a GTLD. And then next year that'll be four or five so at some point the bo the bottom end of name banner, page not ten and page nine, will be full of GTLDs only. That's what I think will happen. As the as GTLD and prices increase and more people buy GTLDs. So I guess I I put my GTLD, uh, my my domain name videos up, because yes, I want to sell one to get myself out of my current situation financially. But if me doing that helps you understand GTLDs, that's all good. And um, the other reason is, what I want to set up, two, uh, it helps you. And three, you ask. Whatever three was. <laughs> well, I do like making them myself anyway. Well, three. One, I like making them. I buy them anyway. To sell, if I can. On the basis that I haven't sold them yet. Uh, two, that was you. And three is... um. Anyway, that's the video. That's why I make the videos. Even though I can't remember the second reason why I can't make videos. <laughs> well, I can't make GT uh, why I make GTLD videos. But there you go. All good fun.